Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever episode on the Technical Beast server. You may be wondering what the Technical Beast server is. Well, it's a team play server which means we all play together as a big team to achieve uh, lots of different things. So there's a bunch of guys on this server. Uh, Wanny Wanson is of Code Crafted, you may know them. And mm -hmm. we've got Raven's Child. Hey. We've got Phil's Minecraft, King Happy, they're not here at the moment. And at the moment it's just the five of us, and this is the first base that we've actually built on the server. This is intended to be uh, a way to get started, to get going, gather lots of resources and build all the machines that we'll need to uh, do all the wonderful things that we want to do on this server. So chances are we're probably going to move away from this base before long and build something a lot more glamorous and interesting. Um, but this is the basic area right here at the center. Um, the idea here is that we have all these storage barrels easily accessible and at the moment it's a little disorganized but we want to put the most uh, useful items and the most uh, commonly used ones in these areas so when you want to craft some stuff you can come to the center here and uh, do all of that. And so we're working on expanding that at the moment down into this area but we'll talk about that at another time. Um, the first thing that we want to show you is down here in the mines area. If we jump all the way down here you can see we've been hollowing out a huge area and most of this was done by King Happy in fact I've got to stand over here so the void fog doesn't affect and yeah we've just been doing this using turtles to clear out a huge amount of area and to get tons of resources together so at the moment we've recently got some turtles and Wanis has been coding or scripting I think would be the correct term programming I'm not sure but he's been <laughs> programming the turtles yeah and uh, teaching them how to strip mine. So we've set up a bunch of strip mines over here. Uh, are any of the turtles deployed at the moment, or are they all in chests? Um, no. Nope, they're not running. <laughs> but they have been. They've been doing a lot of work here. And you can see that we've spaced them out three apart between each one, and that's because ore veins usually consist of two wide, so you would see it from either side. Um, and then you can go in and follow the turtles and uh, collect all of the ores. Um, do we have any of the turtles with us at the moment? Um, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> We're not very well prepared. Uh, I think King Happy has them all. All oh, right. okay. Maybe He's the turtle fan of the server. Well, let's see if I we can find are... one, and then we could perhaps so. talk about the program. Okay, we've now got ourselves a turtle. We've managed to find one, and Wanis is going to show us the program that's on this, that he's written himself. Uh, so I'm going to um, yeah, this is basically... Um, a program that you can use to tunnel with the turtles and it's going to place torches and when the inventory is full of the turtle it's going to place a chest and deposit all of its contents in the chest so you basically don't need to run behind the turtle like you need to do with the default programs yeah so that's, that's what to... we started off by doing wasn't it we were yeah. just using the tunnel command and following them and placing torches for them yeah, so I've set up the script so it's going to use chests if you put them in the second slot and then torches if you put it in the third slot. Yeah. And this turtle actually has the program written on it. So I, I just call it Tunnel Torch because, yeah, I needed a name. Logical. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start it. And then it's going to ask distance. And this is... Um, how long you want the tunnel, um, the turtle to go? Yeah. And this is currently um, a little bit wrong, so I need to give in like a huge number to make it all only a couple blocks. So I'm just going to set it on 100. Um, or maybe so just... how many? How many would 100? Typing in 100 would be or 4,000 like 400. Um, like um. 12 blocks is the same as 128 here, so it's, yeah, I did something wrong in the code that it, it's not calculating it cor correctly, so... Oh, I see. Anyways, um, we're just going to start it, and okay. then he's going to turn around and start. So, and he's going to place torches every 12 blocks, so That's that good. is just enough to provide enough light to get no creepers in your tunnels. It's a lot faster as well having one of them go like this because yeah. they just they stay in the same position, they hit the block above and below. And um, whereas when you have the other script they sort of turn to the left and right all the time and jump mm -hmm. up and down as well. Yeah, this has a higher rate of like ore finding and because we can just um when this thing is done, check this tunnel and go with our 
fortune picks and just collect all the diamonds and yeah. redstone and get loads of it. Oh, there it goes. It just placed another torch. That's great. And then I guess so the light level is never going to be low enough, is it, as well? That's I'll excellent. just mimic it uh, when the inventory is full. Okay. So it's going to place out. All oh, right, I the see chest. it. Put the chest below see. it. Place the chest. And, and then it keeps going as well. dropped off anything he had. Yes. Oh, that's excellent. And yeah, put all those so things I, in So I have like future plans for this script because it's working as it is, but there's still some more stuff I can do with it. So what yeah. I'm thinking about doing is just um, discarding all the dirt, cob and gravel because we don't need that. Yeah. We already have We've enough got tons of all of, of that. Too much of it. <laughs> because at the moment, his inventory is getting clocked with all those junk. And because there's a lot of different ores, he's unable to hold like all the different ores at the moment. Yeah, so that's that's a huge problem. Um, so is it possible to tell it to discard certain ores? Because there's one that looks like coal that's completely useless, that we don't really need to collect. Uh, um, yes, um, there are commands to drop items. Items. There are also commands to put items in inventories like chests, and that's what I already used. Um, it's just like a matter of configure. Yeah. It. And because we haven't really um, had the needs of that, oh. <laughs> I guess. Oh, um, I thought that was diamonds. It's not. It. <laughs> we have found a lot of diamonds doing this, haven't we? We've got about yeah. two stacks at the moment. We spent quite a few of those diamonds. There he goes, placing a torch. So what was, good way to find ones. What was uh, funny about this is we were finding diamonds and we didn't have enough XP to get a fortune pick. So when we first did this, what I decided to do was to grab a normal pick and follow the turtles down these shafts that we have up the top here. Let me just fly up here. And you can see that we've taken most of the ores out of them and we were actually just getting ores to get XP to enchant a pick because we don't really have a good XP farm yet. And it turns out that it's actually a really good way of getting Ooh. XP because <laughs> in the modded game there's so many ores that you can just go down here and there's just ore after ore and you mine it and before you know it you're level 30. Um, and it only took us a couple of enchants to get a fortune pick and then we got two of them in a row which is good. So I think we used up the other one didn't we? The other fortune uh, yes. pick? Yeah, my and then, fortune pick is pretty much gone. Yeah, Phil's has my efficiency 5 one so... Um, we're going to have to do that again, I guess, or, or set up an XP farm at some point. So, speaking of XP farms, we have actually got a very bad XP farm. Um, let's pop down here and have a look at that bit first. We have built a very basic mob spawner. And if I can just get in here. And it's... We didn't put any vines in. That's one thing we didn't think about when we built it, because <laughs> we were in a rush to get something up and running. Um, we really needed this for bone mill at the time to get your tree farm running. And yeah, it just gathers evil zombies because they don't die from the full damage and the occasional other mob like that. And they're all dead. And that's the bottom of the uh, mob farm right here. Should we actually fly up through this bit, perhaps? Mm -hmm. We should probably head straight to the very top. <laughs> Otherwise it yeah, won't be very before safe. Before explodes. And then we can let in some sunlight. Oh, that was a it's actually got a lot of levels, hasn't it? Oh no, there's one up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've died. <laughs> oh, at least all my items will drop down to the very bottom there. Yeah. I can grab them quickly. Oh, almost all of them. Oh, and I set my spawn as well. I think a couple of you guys didn't set your spawn, right? Oh, I very nearly jumped down again without thinking because I don't have a jump uh, yeah, jetpack. There's still a lot of here. I'll just grab it. That's something that you um, you rely on too much in this game is using the jetpack. Oh no, I've fallen in a hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dropping. I think stuff. I can go like that. There we go. I can just collect it from the bottom, provided there. Oh, there's yeah. a creeper, and he's on the loose. <laughs> come, 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 come back, come in, come back, come in. Uh, someone needs uh, to come back, back down back, here. Back, back. <laughs> oh. We're at mercy of the I mobs think here. I everything. All right. Oh Before my god! Marvel. Don't blow up. My stuff's come in there. Oh two. I think it was a really bad idea to go in that way. <laughs> yeah, there's more crew coming. I think. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, I'm gonna. Oh, it's a skeleton, and I don't have my soul shard on me. <laughs> oh, there it is. Time. Okay, right. I'm gonna step back here, put my armor on, 
Oh. My jetpack. Oh dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll just uh, <laughs> fix the spawn machine. Oh, bit of lag there. All right, let's go up. <laughs> oh, again. Go, go, go. Yep. Uh, if I die from the same thing twice, I'm just gonna look a fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm safe-ish. Oh, Sunlight? No, it's night time, isn't it? No, of course it is. Oh, I was gonna uncover that so the light can shine down there. So this is a very basic mob spawner. Um, it's probably gonna be quite efficient though, isn't it? We just forgot about adding vines for XP, but I can add that later today, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, actually, we should really do that. So no spiders can spawn in here, so it won't nope. get clogged up. Um, most of the pads are right next to water, with the exception of this bit around the back here. That's how many is it? Uh, about ten spaces on each side, I think, where they can't walk directly into the water. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really effective, and we haven't we haven't made like an, an an effort to go and cave too much yet. We have been doing some. And the rates on this thing are pretty good, but um, what happens is loads of those evil zombies gather at the bottom because we don't, um, we haven't sorted out the full damage. Like the other mobs will die from full damage, but those ones will stay alive. Um, and the way we built this was really fun as well because we had tons of cobblestone, and there was three of us. Oh yeah, of course, Nathaniel is on the server as well. Um, he's only been on the one time though. Uh, Redstone nightmare that is, and oh, yeah. he helped us build this. And uh, we, we were jetpacking up, uh, you were doing that technique where you jetpack up and just place loads of cobblestone below yeah. you really quickly. Um, so we built this thing actually with quite a lot of speed. We put up the outside walls all the way up to this height which is 127. Oh yeah, you were just giving us a demonstration, sorry I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. Okay. There you go, look at that technique. <laughs> yeah, that I couldn't really do it. I let, I let you and Nathaniel do it, I was doing it the slow way. <laughs> So we put up the outside walls, then we put up these pillars in the middle, and with three of you working on this with jetpacks, it is really quick to build one of this. In total, it took us about an hour, I think, to build the whole mm -hmm. thing. Um, it's well and truly worth it, a really quick way to use up all that cobblestone, and that is not a good time to lag. <laughs> that was not a good... I oh, shit, oh sorry. A creeper, a creeper. Yeah, I killed it. <laughs> there we go. Quick, make your way out of there. Yeah, I love it. Oh, that... Changed. <laughs> Let's kill this guy. There we go. So here's a view of our mob spawner from the outside and as I said we hadn't really made an effort to do too much caving yet. Um, we have done a bit of spam torching around the surface. Um, so the rates are better at daytime because we haven't done any anything over that side. Um, but as well as doing like a tiny bit of caving, uh, we've also been trying to hollow out these slime chunks. So we've done one over here and we used the turtle to do this. You just do the excavate command. You start it off here, put excavate 16 and that's once you've figured out uh, the actual where the actual uh, slime chunk is and then it goes all the way down to the bottom here and there's actually some cobblestone and a ladder's been added. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> I did. All <laughs> oh, right, I haven't seen this. Um, this is our uh, strip mine. Ah, oh, you got one up here. Is this when you're looking for copper and other materials? Yeah. All right, they very spawn cool. On different, um, layers. Yeah, I can't. Do you know what? When you got the jetpack, it's very difficult to get into a too high Just gap. Jump on here, on this. On, oh on yeah, this all the ladder. Here. That's good. <laughs> so yeah, we hollowed this all the way out, and then I dug out all the blocks at the bottom. Uh, which is kind of pointless, but I wanted to do it just to see what the bedrock looked like. And so no slimes can spawn in here. And the plan is to uh, figure out the perimeter of the mob spawner and then remove all of the slime chunks like this and probably just half slab the bottom and then we'll have no slime spawning which means when we want to build a slime farm if we pick the most central one we're going to get really good rates on that as well and what's great about doing something like this is in vanilla it would take you just absolutely ages to do something like this but in in feed the beast you just set a turtle up to do it and give it a bucket of lava and it'll do the whole thing for you so um, that is a really a good project to start doing early, like I said, it will help the slime farm later on. So I've actually started doing a couple more slime chunks over here, but I didn't get to finish them, and we've since actually lost a lot of turtles. I think we've only got five in total now. Um, but yeah, you can see I started on that bit there, and I've done another one over there. There's quite a few slime chunks around this area, but this over here is our power source, it's our tree farm. Um, I am yet to actually understand how this works, so Wanis is going to explain it to to us how it all works. 
Um, yeah, I'll just give a quick demonstration. So okay. we just need to press a button. And then it's going to plant Whoa. one of those big Oh, that's trees. making my computer lag. And, <laughs> yeah, it's the leaf. It has a lot of lag. And it's pretty oh. much getting demolished by something I've put in there to clear it. A filler. You might need know that um and I, i'm getting serious lag. Like <laughs> all the <laughs> all the lag is uh all, all the wiring is like beneath here and it's all really cramped so it's kind of hard to explain but yeah what's actually going on is maybe we can just go in from the top that's maybe easier i don't, I don't think There's, you should have pressed uh, that button <laughs> It's causing me some serious yeah, problems. Should we roll. should we just wait a moment for this all to decay, and then uh, uh, then we can yeah. continue? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we're back. Uh, that caused me a load of lag. I actually had to restart the entire client to get it working. Oh, look, there's a creeper going into it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is he going to break that? <laughs> I remember he's full. <laughs> Maybe we can suffocate him if I press this button again. <laughs> oh, no, you can't press the button. That will cause me so much lag. Did you yeah. just press it? <laughs> oh. <Nope. laughs> it looked like you did. I, I don't really want to try and kill it now. I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> fly up, fly up as fast as I can. Let's try that again. We're trying to record, Creeper. Why do you have to do this? <laughs> Oh, there we go, he's I dead. Have, okay, I cool. Put a little sign up so people do not press the button. Okay, so <laughs> End of the world. <laughs> um, if we have a look of, uh, at how this works, um, so I've basically put in nine deployers. Those are these big blocks that I'm pointing at that you're not yeah. sure that I'm pointing at. <laughs> yeah, these ones. Like uh, the, the things that look like pistons. Yeah, they they are um, a block from Red Power, uh, which is a very awesome mod. Oh. Um, I've put in nine, and the deployers basically interact the same way as if you would have something in your hand and you would right-click. So if you give it a block, it will place a block. That's very cool. If you give it um, a bucket, it will try and fill the bucket. So that is um, what these do. So I've got four at the bottom that will place dirt. Four at the top that will place saplings, and then one to place bone meal, which is going to grow the big tree. Okay. And that is the placing mechanic. Then for uh, the removal of the tree, it will only remove the trunk and a couple leaves, so we get some saplings back. Yeah. And that is done by using a filler from Buildcraft. And that is this big thing in the middle here, right? That's the big box, is basically the area it's going to clear. Yeah. Um, and that is being powered by a ton of engines. I was actually planning on making this a power plant because I've put in enough to feed off like loads of stuff. This is only like half of, um, no, like one eighth of all the engines you can see because there's engines underneath this cable, then oh, there's I'll engines. Assume, yeah underneath the piping yeah it's really overkill but i was planning on using this as as a power plant but because it's causing so much lag i think i can better use um lab instead um, so how much how much kind of power does this thing output um 100 minecraft joules per tick wow that is a lot do you know what i just yeah. noticed you've got a sort of dirt pipe shape thing here as well yes there's even more engines on this side christ <laughs> this um this diet dirt thing is actually um sort of like an insulated redstone cable that you can place freestanding so oh, right. it's it's more compact than when you use redstone and it also doesn't need a repeater for a really long distance oh so that's it's great really convenient to wire up oh well, king happy has joined so um, what about all this down here? Is there anything else down here that we need to see? Um, it's pretty much all uh, the logic behind redirecting the drops to yeah. the, the the places where they need to go and then refilling the deployers. Which there's are there's a chicken down here. Is he, is he the guy running the machine? <laughs> yeah, he's been there for um, when I started building this. <laughs> and, I think, yeah, I think it, chickens it stop, get stuck in It would in stop them. working if we would remove it. So <laughs> yeah, the chicken is... It there. 
He's he's in he, charge. He keeps the thing from crashing the game. <laughs> so, um, so these yeah. deployers, um, if you put an item in it like a sword, will that will that like simulate a right click on the sword so it'll like swing the sword? No. <laughs> it, will it just not do anything? Yeah, it, it would <laughs> simulate a block with a sword. No, no, it wouldn't. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, I don't think it would do anything. So yeah, there's like, yeah, limit this, to the deployers. This was going to be our main power source, wasn't it? But yeah, because originally like, we might have to change the uh, plan there. So <laughs> last of all, we got this area over here as well. Uh, this is where I started getting a lot of trees before we had that tree farm. And um, what I'd do is I'd come all the way up to the top and I'd put a turtle on here and excavate downwards, which is really simple stuff. In fact, it was uh, King Happy who was doing that. And he set up this huge quarry over here. Oh my god, look at these creepers. <laughs> look how many of them there are. <laughs> it's a creeper party. We've interrupted a creeper party over here. Um, so yeah, he hollowed out this massive area and got tons and tons of ores and stuff, which really got us going, actually. That helped a lot. Did you start attacking them without me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> All this area is going to get quarried as well. You can see he's yeah, sort of outlined an another area here to do some more quarrying with. So that is it for this episode on the Technical Beast server. Obviously, there are more things at work here, and next episode we'll be showing you our storage area project that we have working on at the moment. And also over here, we've got this uh, Industrial Craft 2 set up, and we're powering that with lava from the nether. So we'll be showing you more about that in the next episode. Uh, but as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and help support the Technical Beast server. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode.